What's up, everybody? We're back. Just got home from uh, Walmart and bought quite a few things for you guys to watch me open. Um, this is a gift for you guys, not me, obviously. Uh, let's run you through what we got real quick. First off, single booster pack with the Wulu and then the uh, Lucario coin. I just wanted this promo card. I don't have it yet. And then uh, these here, Sun and Moon, Crimson, Crimson Invasion and Evolutions XY. I mainly got this for this pack, but I also don't have these pins yet, uh, so I figured that wouldn't hurt to have. And then the real stuff we got. The Cinderace tin, this is the only starter tin uh, I haven't gotten yet. So that has, what is it, five? Yeah, five booster packs in there. And finally, never thought I'd buy one of these, the Tag Team Powers Collection. So you got the Umbreon and Dark Ray, uh, Carrot Costa, Espeon Deoxys. You got the EVGX, a bunch of good promo cards, and then a bunch of packs in here. Um, this box is normally going for fifty bucks, I think. It was on sale for like thirty-eight ninety-nine today, so I had to pick it up. Um, I figured it was the only chance I'd have. Really, I never would have paid fifty bucks for that, but I am on a kind of limited schedule here, so we're gonna just dig right into the pack openings. Start off, yeah, we're going to go in the order that I pretty much just showed them off in. I kind of showed them off in least, least to greatest. I can't talk today. Boom. Got the coin. Here is the promo card. Um, I do need sleeves. One second. This is my sleeve box. Makes it nice and easy. I got the, uh, <clears throat> the hard cases as well as the soft sleeves, um, if that's what you want to call them. But we're going to get into the first pack. Tito's already playing with the wrappers. Fire energy, we're going to get a Charizard. So this is Sword and Shield base set. I still have quite a few rares. Oh, Reverse Hollow Cloister, that's pretty nice. And a Celebi V, number one. I need this for my binder, this will be nice. I think that finishes the first uh, of nine pages. I'm gonna sleep these all up real quick. So we have a pretty wide array of uh, cards today. Or packs, I should say, not necessarily. I mean, they're all Pokemon cards. Give you guys a better look at that one. I also have a new tripod. I'll show you guys in just a second. <clears throat> the tripod I was using was definitely not ideal. It's basically GoPro. But right here, I stuck the GoPro mount to this little wrap thing that I would slide my phone into. So I'd have a good enough angle, but I couldn't see what's going on. Now I can see what's going on, so I can actually tell when I'm in focus, when I'm in the frame, and when I'm not. So it definitely helps, and this, there we go. Boom, one pack down. My desk is so uh, cluttered up right now because I just, oh, and I just knocked that over. This is a mess. We're good. I just uh, opened up the tripod and left the box right on top. But anyways, next pack. Get these pins out. don't even know who these are so this no clue I'll let you guys take a peek once it focuses there we go looks like a psychic a fairy type and then a dragon
Dragon or something. I don't know. If anybody knows who those are, let me know. They might say it on that box I just got. I'm gonna open up the Crimson Invasion first and then move to the Evolution. Always save the best for last. Another Fire Energy. Got some new artworks here. Kara Blast, that's a pretty cool artwork. Mankey, I love Mankey. Registeel, another Reverse Hollow Rare. And an Alolan Golem GX. We have some of the best early on luck. Like, <laughs> that is insane. I'm gonna take uh, one second here. I turn the uh, AC off so it wasn't wicked hot in here. Or, so that it wasn't uh, too loud in here, and now it's getting wicked hot in here. But next up, favorite set, Evolutions. See what we can get. Still looking for the Blastoise, as well as the Charizard from this set. Uh, even if it's not holographic, I guess that would still be pretty cool. I think we're just doing three on this one. Okay, Poliwhirl, got a Trainer. Porygon, Diglett, Seal, Nidoran. I don't know if I, I definitely have Seal, never mind. Dodeo, I'm a champ break. This is a duplicate, but I like this card, so that's pretty cool. And a Starmie, not bad. Uh, I think I have Starmie, though, but it, oh well. It is what it is. Another Machamp break. Can't be too upset about that. Boom. All right. So those are the basic ones down. We're gonna move right into the Cinderace tin. So in Sword and Shield, I did pick uh, Inteleon or uh, Squabble or Sobble as my starter, because I always like the water types, uh, as you can tell, but I really, once I saw Raboot and Cinderace, I kind of <laughs> thought that I made the wrong decision. I think Cinderace is sick. I'm gonna move those off to the side. I'm gonna leave this in the plastic for now. I'll sleeve it up later and everything. But give you guys a quick look at it in the tin. If you're new to Pokemon, I highly recommend buying a tin first as like one of your first purchases. Uh, it gets you a nice little storage area, as well as a, you know, it gets you the promo card, so that's a pretty cool one. And then you also get a bunch of booster packs to open up. Get five here. Oh, I didn't. I forgot that they were uh, different types too. So awesome. Start off with the Sword and Shield. Four from the back. Let's get it. Fighting. BD Raboot. There he is. Focus that rare candy. There we go. Zigzagoon. I have too many of this dude, and I have too many of this dude. Reverse Hollow Poke Gear 3.0 and Turtonator. Nothing crazy here. Those are the first <laughs> two. Oh no, I did the uh, the evolutions ones were also or the uh, it was a non hollow rare, which I'm gonna move to that pile. I try to keep track of everything so I don't have to like sort through for my rares later or anything. And what do you know, another Krabby. It's okay though. I'm gonna get duplicates, I'm gonna get lots of duplicates. At some point I'd like to, I don't know, sell or give away or do something with my duplicates worthwhile. If you have any ideas, comment section. Let me know. If you want them, how should I give them away? I don't know, you guys probably have better ideas than me. And a Cinderace Reverse Hollow. This is like my second or third one of this specific card, but and a Galarian Perserker Hollow. Awesome, look at that. Awesome. I love, 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 love the holographic cards, as everybody does. I don't think I need to say that, but they look really nice in this uh, generation. Boom. 
also going to sleeve up the reverse hollow rare. Might have to start condensing some of these pulls up here. Had some really good luck on the reverse hollow so far. Alright, next up, Cosmic Eclipse. <clears throat> this is another really good set. All the Sun and Moon sets I feel like are pretty cool. Um, it might just be because I kind of missed them when they originally were released. So they're all kind of new artwork to me, but... And they're kind of rare now. I wouldn't say rare, but they're harder to find since they're not just pumping out packs. Fairy Energy, my least favorite. Ooh, we got the Null Dude. Awesome. I like that. Uh, Pokemon is pretty cool. A little pub. Sphiel. <laughs> Spherical Seal. Marcargo, Reverse Hollow Rare. What is going on with this luck? And a Mimikyu. All right, happens, it happens. Can't get hollows every time, but we did get the Rare Reverse Hollow, which is getting a sleep. I'm gonna definitely uh, do this for the Reverse Hollow Rares, just so we can get some more space for those GX or V Max or you know any actual good pulls we get here. I am a little weird. I know most people don't uh, necessarily sleeve up or even care about their uh, reverse hollow rares or anything. But better safe than sorry. If I have the sleeves to protect the card, I might as well use it. Boom. Four from the back. Simi Seer. I love this evolution chain. This Simi Seer and Pal's Crab Brawler. Get those mitts. Reverse Hollow Oddish. Did I? I think that there's. So Letty and is the rare. Okay, no, there wasn't another one behind it. I thought I messed up. Okay. I'm trying to keep all the uh, different sets organized, but. Here it is, we got another Charizard Evolutions pack. One, two, three from the back. Give me somebody fresh. Machoke. Give me, give me a common or uncommon that I don't have in my binder. I don't have this one actually, so there we go. Ask and you shall receive. Give me a holographic Charizard right now. Oh, Reverse Hollow Sandshrew. It's not rare or anything, but I, I like Sandshrew. It's one of my favorite Pokemons from the original, and another Starmie. Anti-Epic. Oh, that was the end of the tin. Now we're moving on to the big ticket item here. Clear up a little bit of space. We're gonna have to sleeve up a few of these cards. So this is too big to really open in frame. So I'm gonna just do it behind the scenes. Maybe, no, it's still too big. I kinda have to do it up here actually, so. These cards are gonna get a little suffocated. Promos here. Oh, there's more behind. There were some hidden promos. I didn't even know about these. Look at that. It's pretty cool. This one here is holographic. I don't think these two are. Boom. 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 Four, five, six, seven. There were seven promo cards included. Eight if you count this big one. And then we got one, two, three, four. We got eight packs, one being Evolutions, which is epic with the Blastoise artwork. And I'm gonna leave this in there. 
plot these here for a second. We've got Espeon and Deoxys. I'm gonna do this. Oh, you can't even really see it, so that was kind of worthless, but oh well. Start sleeving these up. We got the promos, the Espeon and Deoxys. I guess, even though this isn't you know, holographic or anything, it is a promo card. So I'll, I'll sleeve it up and toss it uh, here. And the EVGX. Let me refocus that for you. Boom. There goes a really fast Honda Civic, if you guys heard that. Don't let your friends fool you. The Civics with the loud exhaust, they're fast. There's the Umbreon, oh, that is sick. Boom. I don't really know why this dude was in with like the Eevee, but. Oh, well, it's a sick card. All right, and the last one. Red, Reggie Gas, Reggie, Reggie G Gas. I don't know. Something gas. Who needs water, a fighting, and steel type to do his best move? We'll plop him over here. We'll do a review after uh, of all the uh, cards, too. Just so we don't miss anything. I know that I'm kind of spurring them out here. Like I said, I'm on a kind of limited time frame. Start off with the basic sword and shield pack. The Pokemon that looks at you is the indicator of luck or not. And Gossiflor is not an epic Pokemon, so prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, give me a good Pokemon here. Oh, Tito's playing in the boxes. Chinchu, Reverse Hollow Krabby, and Shinsino. Shinsino, however you pronounce it. Nothing special. But, I mean, look at this. Got a party up here. Definitely doing this one last. Fingers crossed for it. We'll do another Sword and Shield. Base set. It's gonna help me keep them organized if I do them in order. Sorry if anybody wanted to, you know, mix things up, but not happening. Not today. It's about noon now. Um, just a little bit after, actually. But ooh, Mantine! I don't think I have this one actually, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's about noon. I'm gonna have to edit this video, and I'm hoping to get it uploaded right around 6 p.m. or so. Um, so the editing might be minimal on this, but I'm going to do my best to keep it uh, like the last video. And Clay Doll. I don't think I have this one either, so that's not an awful pull. I'll take it. But yeah, I, th I had some fun editing the last one. Uh, I kind of made it, you know, a meme taj, if you will. Just trying to throw in some chuckles here and there. Um, you know, in the moment here, I'm really just so focused on trying to get... Uh, special pulls or anything like I'm just really anxious to see what I get and then when I'm editing and I know it's coming up it's kind of fun to you know, either really hype up a good pull or just you know make fun of a really bad pull or a, a series of commons and non-rares or non-hollows or duplicates or something like that so that's why I kind of edit them up uh, definitely I think made it more entertaining pincer Cosmog. I don't think. What set is this? This is Sun and Moon base set. Psyduck. Epic. Psyduck's one of my favorite Pokemon. If anybody out there watches Real Breaking Nate, you would know Psyduck is his favorite Pokemon. And Cosmoem. But I can't, uh, can't argue with 
Psyduck being anybody's favorite Pokemon. He is definitely a really good one, especially if you watched the uh, TV show as a kid or even as an adult. Um, uh, Psyduck was just kind of, you know, always chilling. I think he always had a headache or something. and He, he, was, a, he was a good dude. He helped out. He helped uh, catch them all and he helped defeat Team Rocket. So, 10 out of 10, good boy. Crocoroke. Not even gonna try to say that one. Double colorless energy, I can say, even though I kind of just struggled there. Poliwag. Eevee. Maybe that's good luck. I mean, we, this is out of the Eevee box. Corsola and a Butterfree. So, it was not lucky. <laughs> I also forgot to mention, if you want any of these code cards, uh, just message me on Twitter. Um, if you don't have Twitter, leave a comment. I'll work something out with you in like YouTube messages. I'm just not too familiar with the YouTube messaging platform, but my uh, Twitter is in the description. You can just click over there. You'll go over to my profile. Shoot me a DM uh, saying, uh, you know, you'd, you'd like some code cards. And you know, as long as you're following me on Twitter, I'll send you over a few. Uh, if you have any specific sets or anything, like, uh, Sun and Moon we have here. We have some Sword and Shield or some of the promo card sets or the uh, promo card code cards uh, Just you know point them out say which ones you want and I'll send you the codes over. I don't want them I don't use them. I do play the uh, Pokemon trading card game online, but uh, Just with verses. I don't think you can use those cards So I don't really know what the point of them is besides opening them up on the computer And I'd rather you know you guys get to experience that Ooh, a rainbow energy but I have been uh, kind of playing pretty well. I like Nuzleaf. Been playing really well online. I think I went in like a seven win streak last night and ended uh, because I, I, I'll say because I was going against a water type deck with my fire type deck, I used the Cinderace theme deck, but you know, I probably could, ooh, Kyogre reverse hollow rare. That is sick. Before I pull this, let me finish my sentence. Um, <laughs> I, I'll say it was because I was going against a water trainer while using a fire deck, but I probably still could have won. Uh, I won't use that as an excuse. And Deoxys, wow. Not holographic or anything, but these are like two uh, legendary Pokemon here. It's pretty cool. I'm going to not sleeve up Deoxys because it's not holographic, but I will sleep this reverse holo Kyogre up. And this is going to be on the front page of my reverse hollows now. So I have a binder for my reverse hollows and I kind of separate them out first by the rares, all rare reverse hollows, and then I kind of try to order them in which ones I like the most just so they're on display. And then behind that, I just go all my grass type reverse hollows, all my fire type reverse hollows, all my water type, etc., etc. But I do at some point hope to have all the reverse hollows for at least like the sword and shield sets, <clears throat> the ones that I'm really collecting right now and evolutions, but that is kind of a ridiculous task. So stay tuned, uh, maybe we'll do it together, or maybe I'll, I didn't move these cards, or maybe I will open two million packs and still not get all the ones I need. My chair is also super squeaky, so my apologies for that. Ready, ready, listen. It's me barely moving. And it squeaks. Swinub. Looks cold. Cacnea. Is that a rare? That is a rare. Another reverse hollow rare. Miss Magius. Mrs. Magius. And a Primeape. Not holographic, but pretty sick. Like I said earlier, I like Mankey. I like Primeape. Pretty good uh, evolutionary chain. And this is getting a sleeve. So it's like three or four maybe in a row without a holographic rare, which is leading me to believe our evolutions pack is gonna have something. Fingers crossed. One more and then we'll move into the evolutions, which will be the last pack. So if you are still here, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I don't think I'll ever get sick of opening these packs. Was that 
That was three. There we go. Wait. Yeah. Oh, hopefully I didn't mess it up. Okay, we didn't. Oh, we did. That's a, that's the rare. <laughs> Escavalier. Sorry about that. There goes all the anticipation. Let's see what we get. Nothing. I guess we'll just kind of sort through and light this now. A lot of... We could have like a full electric deck here. Shelmet, that's a pretty cool dude. Jang Mo O, Staryu, Condor, and a Grumpig. All right. I hope that they were, oh, I just dropped those on the rare pile. I hope that the uh, deck gods, or the uh, pull gods, I should say, were saving the best card for the best pack. Don't worry, guys, I got you. I will never let you fall. Hang on, let me drop these cards, and then I'll readjust. All right. This tripod is nice, but it's like a, uh, it's an actual, like, tripod, so it's a little bit bigger than uh, the other one I was using, so I have less hand room up here. Uh, it's just going to take some getting used to. No biggie. It's definitely better quality. I can see what's going on here. Overall, happy with the choice. Just got to get used to it. We got the Sand True. Remember what I said? I like Sand True. The Pokemon that looks at you out of the pack determines your luck. Three from the back. Fingers crossed. Brock's Grit. Come on, focus up. Boom. D Evolution Spray. Nidorino. So that's saying true. We got an Onyx and a Magikarp. Fighting Energies. This is a fighter's deck. Staryu. Reverse Hollow Diglett. And an Electrode. Not holographic. I do like that artwork though with the like rainbow behind him. One second. Anyway, I had another one coming. Sorry about that. But that is the last card we get, the Electrode. That might be going in the binder. I don't think I have him, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong about that plenty of times before. So <clears throat> I guess now we'll quickly take a look through what we got. <clears throat> coming up almost on a uh, good time here, honestly, for all, everything we opened up. So we got the Electrode. Oh, let me refocus that. The Escavalier, the Primate, Deoxys, Butterfree, Cosmoem, sure. Claydol, Chinsino, Starmie, Ledian, Mimikyu, another Starmie, and Tortonator. All non-holographic, most of them duplicates, but it happens. For the reverse, uh, Hollows, non-rare, of course, we got Diglett. The Grumpig, Corsola, Persian, Vulpix, Krabby, Sandshrew. The reverse uh, on the Evolutions is definitely the best. Oddish and a Pokegear, 3.0. Moving into the rare reverse hollows. Mrs. She got married, Magius. Kyogre, which is probably my favorite one we got of uh, the reverse hollows at least. Registeel, Marcargo, Cloyster, which is pretty sick, and Cinderace, which is a duplicate. So got some good ones here. And I guess we'll move into some of the promo cards. So I'll just call this guy Mr. Gas. Uh, we got the Glaceon and the Leafeon. I'm not sure why those were included in there. Um, maybe, are they the, like a, a stage into Espeon or... I don't know. We got the Wulu promo card that I wanted to snag up. Um, I'm going to move these out of this pile, actually. And for another uh, normal hollow, we got the Galarian Perserker. And the reverse hollow Machamp Brave, which is a duplicate for me. And then we got all... Uh, oh, we actually did get, I think, two pulls. 
two super rares, whatever, ultra rares, the Celebi V and the Alolan Golem. This is a really sick artwork. I feel like the GX is almost are better than the Vs, like, definitely, at least in this, this matchup here. Move those over, and we'll run through the uh, holographics from that EV box. So, like I said, it was less than $40, and it normally is $50, which is why I bought it. Um, I don't think it's still even that great of a value, unless you really like these cards, like this EVGX, if you're really looking to get your hands on these promo cards, uh, then it would be, probably be worth it, because you do get eight packs with it. So it wasn't an awful deal. I'll be happy to throw these two tag teams into my group, and or my collection, not my group, and call it a day. And, of course, we do have this giant foil card um still don't really know what to do with these besides just throw them in like a folder or something but if anybody has ideas like i said comment section always appreciate feedback or input any advice you guys have uh it helps me go a long way i'm still kind of new at all this so let me know if you didn't make it this far and you leave a like uh, it's greatly appreciated really do um love all the support you guys give me i know you guys enjoy these videos and uh, if you came from you know the youtube searches or um, somewhere besides just like my twitter or being a subscriber let me know let me know where you came from how you found the video uh, i'm really interested to hear that and uh that's it for this one peace